it is then that he initiated this process of going after the major criminal uh, mafia nexus persons and this is when everyone got identified all the laws were properly put in place the powers which are there already with the collectors and the police officers for the state they were brought in place and then this entire drive against the mafia drive against whatever illegal properties they had acquired so this aspect became very sharp in focus for him and he used to monitor it not just on a daily basis but on an hourly and at times minute to minute basis whenever there were any incidents then sabse pehla that i want to talk about is law and order yeah uh, because uh, that's one thing that has seen a very drastic improvement and change over the last few years uh been the current kind of uh, dispensation एंड हम समग्र में दो चीज़ों की बात करते हैं डेटा की बात करते हैं तो आंकड़े और डेटा भी ये कहते हैं कि क्राइम रेट्स हैव कम डाउन ऑल ही न्यूज क्राइम ड्रास्टिकली कम डाउन एंड दूसरी हम बात करते हैं पैल्पेबल चेंज ऑन द ग्राउंड कि आप गाड़ी लेके निकल जाइए और आप बात करिए लोगों से एंड यू कैंड ऑफ इंटरेक्ट विद देम एंड देन वॉट इज द पल्स डेट यू पिकिंग अप बोथ फ्रेंड्स पे दिस अव वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट चेंज इन दिचुएशन इन लॉ एंड ऑर्डर बिकॉज वी हैव वर्क विद हिम राइट फ्रॉम डे वन ऑलमोस्ट वेन ही बिकेम द चीफ मिनिस्टर वेल there are three aspects that i'd like to tell you is that as a public representative he has one of the largest uh, longest standing in, on the ground as an mp and uh, he is one person who to date till date listens to people in a janta darshan when he goes to gorakhpur or at times in lucknow with the application in hand so this ground level feedback that he continues to um, manage despite being the chief minister this proximity to the ground to the absolute hmm. grassroots hmm. is what gives him the strength to understand what is happening on the ground so this is the first thing that i could see or honorable chief minister that he knew exactly what was happening here to the ground at times as the home secretary he would know better on the, what of an incident on the ground than most of us mm-hmm. because by the time we would understand what is happening he would have already got the feedback from various sources mm-hmm. so his mechanism of the janta darshan feedback from the ground is rare i haven't seen anyone who would give so much time every morning in gorakhpur or in lucknow where he would listen to almost about a thousand people plus women old women got it young uh, parents things like this so this is one the second aspect he has the vision from the top so very clearly he decided that when he works the government and the government should work such that there should be zero tolerance to crime and criminality it is then that he initiated this process of going after the major criminal uh mafia nexus persons and this is when everyone got identified all the laws were properly put in place the powers which are there already with the collectors and the police officers for the state they were brought in place and then this entire drive against the mafia drive against whatever illegal properties they had acquired so this aspect became very sharp in focus for him and he used to monitor it not just on a daily basis but on an hourly and at times minute to minute basis whenever there were any incidents which were of a drastic nature so the first aspect is his uh proximity to the ground the second aspect is the overall view of zero tolerance and the third aspect that uh, he undertook was to increase the infrastructure of the police force you know that up police is the largest police force in the world and well, the very first thing he did was to increase the manpower level for the police force it the police force in 2017 was about 3 lakh uh, approximately 3 lakh uh, personnel he has now brought it to more than 4 lakh 60000 which means more than about 1 lakh 60000 new personnel have been recruited in a very fair fashion mm-hmm. absolutely mm-hmm. transparent uh right up to the police officers in the uh, pps 
right up to the police officers in the same uh, in the term of sub inspectors and then the constables and in that again he has increased the number of women which has become now threefold so women constables have also put in the system so one for the infrastructure is increased the number of personnel so the police force of uttar pradesh has become 50% more in terms of manpower second he decided that we should have an infrastructure in every thana so for every thana there were barracks which have been which are under construction now increase the uh, infrastructure capital budget for the home department by 10 times and we had never had any dearth of money for the infrastructure for the police and this also happened so every thana would now have enough barracks for all the police force women as well as men to function and operate he also said that well we have to have housing for our police uh, personnel and their families mm. so we now have for the very first time multi storied uh, buildings coming up in the police lines and other uh, areas for providing the uh, housing for the families of policemen so this was the third aspect increasing manpower and providing infrastructure for the new thanas were approved the fire uh, safety system was totally upgraded uh, the upgradation of this uh, of the uh, specific forces which are there for psc hmm. for the stf for the ats for all of them then a new force was created a special security force just from the lines of cis and force also formulated with five battalions in uttar pradesh so the entire infrastructure saw see change in the state and the fourth aspect that he ensured was that we used technology to increase the effectiveness of the police force you know that now crime control is possible through forensics so new forensic institute which was the the new institution the foundation stone was laid by the honorable home minister himself that has started almost functioning by july it will start functioning academically also so forensic institute at lucknow forensic labs at the regional headquarters uh new thanas for the cyber crimes yeah. new uh, equipment for monitoring cyber crime new equipment for up112 new equipment in every thana for cctvs so this fourth aspect of using technology for improving the effectiveness of the up police force that was there and finally ensuring the morale of the police force and he ensured that a transparent system of transfers and postings was provided to all the policemen in the state so this improvement of morale uh, giving uh, medals and giving uh, um, basically um, uh, awarding those who have done good work so this is the aspect again which has brought a lot of result and there's one more point where we worked very hard where the honorable chief minister very clear once you have the police force once you lodge an fir once you have filed a charge sheet then you have to ensure that in the court of law you have a proper prosecution wing so he upgraded the prosecution systems we are the best uh, prosecution wing in the country in terms of using technology government of india uh, softwares and now in the prosecution side we have been able to fix responsibility in the sense that convictions have happened for those mafias who for the last 25 30 years despite having more than 100 cases not a single case was uh, they were convicted in a single case so this these convictions have happened so that these political mafia these mafias could not then dabble into politics because once you are uh, convicted you become ineligible so this is another aspect and finally the last aspect was mahila sashaktikaran hmm. uh women safety so in women safety again he massively went into schemes and programs and projects for ensuring women safety safe city projects pink boots uh, mahila beat constable at the village level correct uh, 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 mahila help desk in every thana uh, 